YouTube friends and neighbors. Uh, today I'm doing a case unpacking of the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmo Funko Pop. This is what the case comes. It comes six pieces per case. Um, the cases are limited to just small shops like comic shops, uh, little collectible stores, that kind of thing. And since we're a little shop in Brooklyn, this is, um, you know, we are able to order six and that's it. There's a limit. You're only allowed to order a certain amount based on how big your store is and how much. So you won't find these in the bigger retailers. Which is cool. It's fun to finally have a little exclusive for a shop like mine. So let's unpack it. One. Two. Three. Four. Um, what's cool about the new specialty series figures is the little shops like mine will be getting, I think once a month there will be a release. So this is exciting to me. I I'm excited that I'll, obviously I'll be able to get one for myself. I'll keep one for my collection and the rest will go to my regular customers. Let me unbox him so you can see what he looks like. Alright, we got, I, I do like the specialty sticker. The box art's really cool. On the back they have the uh, comic version. I like this character on the Guardians of the Galaxy cartoon. He's pretty fun. And he makes his little special appearance at the end of the Guardians of the Galaxy with Howard the Duck. He's in the collector's collection. Let's look at the bottom. Alright, let me get him open. I, I, what I like about him is his helmet is solid. The helmet itself is not bobble. It's just the dog head inside. I really don't like the bobble heads on the Marvel figures. I kind of wish they weren't bobble. He's an awesome figure though. I love astronaut themed things. Just with the helmet. He's super cool. I really like him. Uh, if you're lucky... I think some stores will put them out cheaper, around $15. I think if you can get them for $15, that's a great price. Uh, I'm probably going to price them around $25 uh, just because I get such a limited amount and I know um, I just want to have them for my regular customers. Uh, so here's the thing. When I talk about pricing, I, uh, I don't want it so high that I feel like a jerk where I'm overcharging people. And right now he's going for $25, $30, $35 on eBay. So I feel like... If I do 25, he's still a pretty decent price. But if I put him too low, the scalpers are coming. If I sell him for 15, I won't be selling them to my regular customers. I'm going to be selling them to the first guy who comes in, picks them all up for 15 to flip on eBay for 25, 30. So that's my philosophy is I like to have prices a little bit below the market. So you're still getting a good deal, but not so low that scalpers will come in and buy everything you have. I used to do that with records. I used to put all my records out in the store for... Uh, five bucks a piece no matter what it was whether it was Beatles or some no name So I got to the point where people were coming in and negotiating and trying to get the price down I was like wait, I'm already giving these away for a good price Then I realized I was just getting vendors coming in there trying to stock up the resell somewhere and uh, I didn't like it. It wasn't fun. I wasn't having a fun time I wasn't meeting collectors that were getting really excited to find something cool. I was just getting someone who's trying to make a quick buck so I, uh, I started having to raise my prices, which I kind of hated, but, um, you know, I, I needed to make a few more bucks to pay my bills, but I also wanted people to, um, I wanted them when the collectors come in my store, they have something to buy. So if the price is still 10, 20, 30% below eBay, I feel like they can walk in knowing that they'll get a good price, but. I'm not getting the scalpers coming in anymore. So it's good. I'm great. I'm meeting collectors and I'm enjoying it. So anyone who lives in the New York, Brooklyn area, just leave me a message if you want one and I'll hold it for you. And uh, he's really cool. You should go out and try to find him. He should be at your local comic shops or anywhere that sells Funko Pops that is not a major retail like Hot Topic. So comic shops, little collectible stores, that kind of place. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.